In a pivotal leap forward for American strike capabilities, the Department of Defense successfully conducted a test of its advanced hypersonic missile system on May 2, 2025, from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. This launch marked a historic first, the implementation of the U.S. Navy's cold gas launch technique, a method engineered specifically to accommodate the Navy's future sea-based deployment of the conventional prompt strike, CPS, weapon system. Engineered to deliver precision strikes without relying on nuclear assets, the CPS initiative underscores the Pentagon's commitment to rapid, decisive global reach. At the heart of this weapon is a hypersonic glide vehicle, HGV, that can exceed Mach 5, steer mid-flight, and evade complex air defense networks. This advanced maneuverability allows for strikes on critical, time-sensitive targets, regardless of location, with minimal warning. The recent trial validated not only the weapon's core technologies but also introduced a new launch mechanism, the cold gas ejection system. This system safely propels the missile away from the launch platform, such as a naval ship, before activating the rocket booster, significantly enhancing operational safety and reducing onboard risk. This is a game-changer for naval applications, where space constraints and crew safety are paramount. Central to the CPS program is the All-Up Round, AUR, a unified missile platform designed for deployment by both the Army and Navy. The AUR integrates the Common Hypersonic Glide Body, CHGB, streamlining development and interoperability between military branches. While the Army is adapting it for ground-based mobile units, the Navy is focusing on sea-based platforms, starting with the high-tech USS Zumwalt, DDG-1000, destroyer. The USS Zumwalt, renowned for its stealthy profile and cutting-edge systems, has been chosen as the initial naval platform for CPS deployment. With its vast vertical launch capacity and digital command infrastructure, Zumwalt is uniquely suited to accommodate next-generation armaments like hypersonics. The destroyer's modular design and advanced power systems make it the ideal host for this sophisticated strike system. What sets hypersonic glide vehicles apart is their unparalleled combination of velocity, agility, and survivability. Once launched by a booster, the HGV re-enters the atmosphere and glides to its target at blistering speeds, altering course in flight to avoid interception. This makes it nearly impossible for enemy systems to detect and neutralize the threat in time. The cold gas technique used in the May 2nd test is a critical step in maturing CPS for maritime operations. By ensuring the missile achieves a safe distance from the ship before ignition, the method minimizes backblast and thermal hazards to the vessel and crew. The successful execution of this test confirms the system's readiness for integration aboard active naval vessels. CPS represents a cornerstone of the Pentagon's broader modernization of conventional strike forces. As tensions rise globally and peer adversaries pursue their own hypersonic arsenals, the U.S. aims to maintain a decisive technological edge. The weapon's rapid deployment capability and precision engagement offer a formidable deterrent that avoids the escalation risks associated with nuclear options. This cross-service effort between the Navy's strategic systems programs and the Army's rapid capabilities and critical technologies office has produced one of the most ambitious collaborative weapons projects in recent history. Sharing common components not only reduces costs but also speeds up development and deployment timelines. Beyond the technical triumph, this test further validates CPS as an essential element of the United States' evolving military doctrine, built around speed, precision, and survivability. The insights gained from this launch will feed directly into final integration steps aboard Zumwalt-class ships, pushing the program closer to active service. As the Navy eyes full deployment, more sea trials and flight tests are expected in the near future. These efforts are not just about adding another missile to the fleet, they mark the dawn of a new combat paradigm, one where hypersonic weapons redefine the rules of engagement. With the CPS program accelerating, the United States is positioning itself at the forefront of next-generation warfare.